Welcome back to News 12 at 4. We're talking dollars and cents today. I'm joined by Jason Leach with the Communication Federal Credit Union. Jason, good to see you. Good to see you as well. All right, lots of talk about stock markets. We talk about it every day on the news at 5. We watch those numbers so very closely. What do you think? Is it a good investment? The stock market can be very good, but it can also be very deceiving as well. There's a lot of people making good money on the stock market and the amateurs, so to speak, they see that and they want to jump right in. So what we do, we encourage people to slow down a little bit, do more research, talk to a stock market professional because there's risky stocks and there's not so risky stocks. If you're an amateur, we definitely, definitely recommend you starting a little bit slower than, let's say, your friend who's been rocketing in the stock market for years. That because that may not be your story. Absolutely not, because you can lose so much money so fast in the stock market. We've seen it happen, and it's just you just don't know. It's, it's up and down, and yeah. just know that going into it, that if you want to be careful with your money, stock market's probably not the place for you. Think about it before you dive into it. And then we have to consider a person's age as well, right? Absolutely. If you're a little older generation, I would suggest not going as risky because you don't have that much time to work. If you're 20, 30, be more aggressive. Yeah, make that happen because you have time to make that money back up. And we also suggest if you're older and looking to invest some money, grab a CD, a certificate that will mature in a year. If you're looking somewhere to put your money that's safe and guaranteed to gain money, it won't be as much as the stock market, but you know it's federally insured and that money's going to be there when that CD matures. Yeah, so the CD is not going to give you as much of a return, but it's not yes. going to lose. That's right. You know the minimum that you're going to Absolutely. receive Absolutely. So you need to know all your options. There's CDs, not gaining as much money, but it's federally insured. Mm -hmm. And there's stock market, you're taking a risk. So be careful before just diving into the stock market. The good thing, too, is once upon a time, we really had to rely only on our stockbroker, yes. right? Yes. But now there are ways to research before you dive in. Absolutely. I'm conservative. I don't want to lose one penny. Oh, gosh. You, listen, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> I am just, I work too hard for my money, right. and I don't want to just go blown in the wind. Right, and right. so that's the thing with the stock market. You can't hit it big, but more than likely, it's going to be a small trickle. So be careful with that money. What would you tell your family members to do when it comes to the stock market? How would you tell them to... Be careful. What caution should they take? I would definitely say don't put all your eggs in one basket. We see that a lot where people, oh, I love Walmart stock. It's been doing great. Let's put it all in it. Don't do that. Please don't put all your eggs in one basket. Diversify your funds. Put some in a CD, some in a stock market, and just spread that money out just in case if one thing goes bad, you have more money to fall back on. Oh, that's good advice. Yes. Thank you, Jason. Yes, absolutely. Okay, we know, now we know dollars that make sense. We will be